Good morning, my students. Today we will talk about sound quality or sound type. We hear different sounds around us, like the sound of cars, sound of bell, sound of man, sound of women, sound of uh, sound of uh, line. This is called the sound quality or sound type. So the sound quality or sound type is a property by which the human ear can be distinguished between different sounds according to the nature of the source, even they are equal in intensity and pitch. What is the meaning of sound intensity or sound pitch? Sound intensity is a property of sound that the ear can distinguish between different sound if it is strong or weak. And sound pitch is a property of sound that the ear can distinguish between different sound if it is uh, sharp or rough. What about the sound of tuning fork? Tuning fork, if we hit the tuning fork like this, we saw vibration of tuning fork. The vibration of tuning fork is called the fundamental tune. The tune produced from tuning fork or vibration of tuning fork is called fundamental tune or basic tune. So the tune produced from vibrating tuning fork is a pure simple tune known as the fundamental tune or basic tune. What about the sound produced from musical instrument like violin and the piano? They are not fundamental tune, but they are called complex tune. The tune produced from violin or piano, even they are equal in pitch and the quality, uh, pitch uh, or intensity also. They are called complex tone. What is the complex tone? Complex tone is a mix between fundamental tone and the harmonic tone. Fundamental tone, because any sound make vibration, so it contains fundamental tone. And also they are, there are harmonic tone. What is the harmonic tone? And the difference between harmonic tone and fundamental tone, the harmonic tone is higher in pitch and lower in intensity. So the harmonic tone, there are, they are tones that accompany the fundamental or basic tone, but they are lower in intensity and higher in pitch, and they differ from one instrument to another. So again, the types of tones, what are the types of tones? Fundamental tone, which is simple tone, and complex tone, which is mix between fundamental tone and the harmonic tone, but the harmonic tone is higher in pitch and lower in intensity. Okay. If we ask you, give reason, the human's ear, ears distinguish between sounds from different source, even if they are equal in intensity and pitch. Why our ears can distinguish between different types of sound? Due to difference in harmonic tones, because the harmonic tones is different from each other, from one instrument to another. So we can distinguish between them. But the fundamental tone is constant. Uh, uh, so uh, the answer is due to the difference in harmonic tones that associate the fundamental tone produced from the source of sound. So sound waves, what are the types of sound waves? There are a sound, we can hear it and called audible sound or sonic sound. And they are sound with wave frequency range from 20 to 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz. And there are some sounds we can't hear it, like it's called and it's called non-audible sounds. And there are two types, infrared waves and ultrasonic waves. The infrared waves, they are sound waves of frequency less than 20 hertz, like a uh, plowing of storm. Uh, you told that uh, the plowing storm, you can hear the sound of storm, but the air around us, can you hear it? No. So the plowing of a storm, it's not the sound of air, but it is the sound of uh, trees 
which uh, move by air or uh, different uh, things that moves by air but not the sound of uh, air the ultrasonic waves is the sound waves of frequency with frequency higher than 20000 hertz uh, and these uh, waves can hear the by bats dogs dolphin all of this can hear ultrasonic waves but we can't hear it so why we can hear the sonic waves because the waves of sonic waves our brain can transmit it into audible sound or audible tones so we can hear it so if you ask you give reason the human ears can hear sounds of frequencies ranging from 20 to 20,000 Hertz because the ear transmit the effect of these waves to the brain which translate them into sound and audible tones so we can hear it okay um, there are some life applications for ultrasonic waves or we can use ultrasonic waves in different life applications because it is very important like we can use ultrasonic waves in medical in medical fields like breaking down of kidney and ureter stones and discovery of tumors uh, we can use ultrasonic waves also in industrial fields like sterilizing of food water and milk why we can use uh, the ultrasonic waves in sterilization of food water and milk because the ultrasonic waves has the ability to kill bacteria and stop the action of some virus so we use it in sterilization of food and water and milk and this is very important questions give reason we use ultrasonic waves in sterilizing food water and milk because its ability to kill some types of bacteria and stop action of some virus we can use also ultrasonic waves in military purpose like discovery of landmines what is the meaning of landmines landmines is a bomb that buried in land and we can't see it so if we um, press on it by our foot it will explode so but the ultrasonic waves can discover the positions of landmines thank you and have a nice day